the third in line amongst the molecular solid is the hydrogen bonded molecular solid okay now what is the hydrogen bonding any idea any right so the most common example is 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 h2o right h2o water okay so it is hydrogen bonded how is it hydrogen bonded let me let me just give you a glimpse of it see water is like that fine now this tells me that this these are two electrons around the hydrogen there have to be total of six so somehow it will be like that now oxygen is a fairly electronegative element compared to compared to hydrogen okay and on the electronegativity scale that we have decided uh, hope you know about the electronegativity scale who who devised it and, and who's who's um, electronegativity scale do we follow right now linus pauling linus pauling pauling scale is what we follow for electronegative and negativity and which is the most electronegative element by that fluorine it is it is given a number of 4 rhymes with fluorine right it is given 4 so higher that pauling number more electronegative the element will be so it is something like this but what happens this is this is a covalent bond but it is a polar covalent bond okay why is it a polar covalent bond because this oxygen being more electronegative it it actually pulls the electron cloud of hydrogen also okay it is so strong in the pull that apart from its own hydrogen uh, apart from its own electron cloud it also pulls the electron cloud of uh, hydrogen a bit right it does not pull it fully but it pulls a bit and due to that the hydrogen develops a slight positive charge while this develops a slight negative charge right now what happens if there is another molecule of water out here this will this will be th this negative charge of the oxygen and this this positive this these two they tend to get attracted not so much that they form a bond or something but still they have a tendency to come together and we show it like that okay a broken line a solid line becomes a bond it is not a bond but it has got a fairly strong electrostatic pull now what happens due to that pull so so not only that here also we have this h and h and this delta positive and this delta positive and 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 there is a there is a there is a hydrogen bonding between the two right like that and it goes on you understand that's how they bonded now due to this what happens what what for for a for a similar molecular weight whatever is the whatever is the boiling point of some other hydrocarbon or something compared to that water is fairly has fairly high boiling point now that's good for our survival correct suppose water would have boiled at 40 then what happens there will be no water in this summer right and life would have been hell okay so so it's good that somewhere around 100 and we 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 are able to we are able to we are able to have a thank you very much okay and we are able to live somewhere around 40 40 to 50 till 50 we are okay not okay but fine we are able to withstand okay so so it's it's quite good and, and you'll suddenly see the moment it becomes an alcohol say, say ethanol okay it has got only one branch which is like that here water has got two branches right there are two positives here no there are two positives here 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 and here and there is a negative here obviously these okay in an alcohol what happens 
in an alcohol say say ethanol it is C2H5OH all right so what happens there C2H5 uh -huh. C H H H H O H and again the same pull delta delta negative this is delta positive so so the moment moment another one comes in so so I'll I'll maybe write it like that C two H five O H okay this positive this is delta negative now another H plus or or another O minus H C two H five this has got a tendency delta negative this has got a tendency to 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 attract each other and there is only one leg so what happens the bonding is not that perfect as water and suddenly you will find what is the boiling point of ethanol any idea no suddenly it drops to 60 degree just due to one leg missing it drops to 60 degrees 60 degree centigrade keep on writing I'll erase this okay so what happens in a hydrogen bonded molecular solid what happens we have a polar covalent bond polar covalent bond between H H on one side and electronegative elements like O N or F on another and what are the characteristics what are the characteristics hope you've written this I should erase it hmm? so the characteristics are these the first thing is um, so we are doing this characteristics of hydrogen bonded molecular solids is number one they are non-conductors of electricity non-conductors of electricity still still they are non-conductors of electricity volatile liquids or soft solids volatile liquids or soft solids at room temperature correct of the room temperature and pressure one atmosphere right higher boiling point yes this is higher boiling points higher melting or boiling points due to hydrogen bond 
other than expected. Huh? Hmm? Volatile means volatile. Volatile means means one which vaporizes easily. Volatile liquids. Okay. Higher melting boiling points. Exam. Upper. Solid H2O. Solid H2O. Ice. Okay. Example is ice. 